Golden Sister, please give a warm round of applause for Teresa Dahlquist. You're probably wondering, what's that old lady doing up there trying to be funny? She should be home napping, knitting, or changing her will again. You're right, I have one foot in the grave, I'm way over the hill, my wrinkles have wrinkles, but I'm here to tell you, it's never too late to fail. A few months ago, I said to my son, what do you think about me becoming a stand-up comic? He said, are you crazy, Mom? You're not funny. You're not funny when you sit down. How are you going to be funny when you stand up? <laughs> Besides, I don't want you home late at night associating with comedians. They all smoke dope. And they're out there looking for cougars. Cougars? I'm not a cougar. Maybe a silver fox. Nah, my libido is dead. It's dead. And then he said, I want you home safe and sound by nine. That's what I told him when he was a teenager and he didn't listen to me. And now he's 50 and he still doesn't listen to me. He's got a shaved head, a goatee, tattoos, and he rides a motorcycle. A motorcycle at 50? He should start a motorcycle club and call it Hell's Elders. <laughs> or Sons of Arthritis. <laughs> I'm Italian and I married someone that was not Italian and he didn't like spaghetti, raviolis, or pizza. I said, you don't like pizza? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Are you sick in the head? I called him names like shithead and needle dick. And he called me a dumb dago guinea wop. And he called me the effing C word. Well, nobody calls me a fucking cunt and gets away with it. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm divorced, but I like to call myself a widow because he's dead and it sounds better. Anybody here divorced? Yeah. Oh my God, it's the most horrible thing to go through. I mean, I cried for weeks. Boo hoo, boo hoo. And then I saw him in a car with another woman. I knew who she was because he was seeing her. And I, my heart was beating. I couldn't breathe. So I called her up and I said, anyway, they, I saw them sitting in our car. It was a car we bought together and she was sitting in my seat, my seat. So I called her up. And I says, how do you like sitting in a seat where I farted? <laughs> that still makes me laugh. <laughs> Laughter saves you. Laughter saves you. Forget about Jesus. <laughs> Just have a good hearty laugh. Um, there's a lot in the, in the uh, news today about domestic violence. But you know, I tell you, I was married a few times and the first husband pulled my hair and I went, ouch. But I tell you, I'm a quick learner because I learned that when they said, shut the fuck up, I shut the fuck up. <laughs> An anthropologist once told me that in Indonesia, when a baby boy cries and won't stop crying, the mother kisses his pee-pee and he stops crying right away and giggles and giggles and giggles. <laughs> if wives did that to their husband when they came home from a hard day's work, there would be a lot less domestic violence. <laughs> I'm a golden sister and we got famous watching the Kim Kardashian sex tape. Anybody here watch it? Oh my God, I'll tell you that, Ray J. <laughs> He's huge. Two hands with space in the middle. 
My advice to Asian and white men, don't you watch it. You'll get really depressed. <laughs> but there's a solution to every problem. You don't have to commit suicide. Instead of, instead of using your pisser, use your kisser. <laughs> Anyway, then Queen Latifah saw us what See, we got six million hits from YouTube. And so, uh, as soon as uh, Queen Latifah saw it, she wanted us to be her senior correspondents. So, um, our first assignment was to interview the, the, uh, the football players that were going to go to the Super Bowl. And so, I mean, we walk into the arena and the guys were so gorgeous, so sexy. I mean, really, my libido was, was going, hello, hello, I'm alive, I'm alive. I said, will you shut up? You're supposed to be dead. I said, I've been resurrected. So, you know, okay, there's big. So we, we, we forgot all the questions. This big black man hugs me. And I says, oh my God, take me home. I said, do you like cougars? He said, no, but they like me. I says, we don't yell, we don't tell, and we don't swell. <laughs> he said, honey, sweetheart, love, go home and take a nap. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Teresa. I for Teresa, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'm obsessed with the post, so I have to fix this. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's good. All right, good.